This is Dave Nicosia, Warning Coordination Meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Binghamton, New York. This is our second briefing on the heavy rain flood potential for the weekend of June 27th and 28th, 2015. This briefing applies to the National Weather Service Binghamton service area only. Some of the changes since our first briefing, well, not much has changed. We're still not expecting any significant flood issues like the previous briefing. We did add the timing of the onset of the rainfall and also when we expect the heaviest rain to occur. We also include a more detailed rainfall map with this briefing. The executive summary, we have a long duration rain event that will begin this morning and last until tomorrow, Sunday. We're expecting a widespread one and a half to two and a half inches of rain for our forecast area through Monday morning. The impacts will be half bankful on our larger rivers, three quarter bankful on the smaller rivers. Streams and creeks will run high and even could potentially cause some minor nuisance flooding. Poor drainage and urban flooding is also possible. We are not expecting any kind of flash flooding. The Finger Lake should remain under flood stage. Cayuga Lake will again come close to the flood stage and there continue to be high water along the Seneca River and the canal right through Monday. Flood watches are in effect to our west and south and also now to our north where we expect heavier rains to occur. In the Binghamton forecast area, we are not expecting any significant flood issues. Here's a map of the storm total rainfall through Sunday. And you will see most areas will fall between about an inch and a half and two and a half inches. Our heaviest rain is expected in Southwest Dubend County and in the higher terrain of Sullivan County, New York, down into the Poconos. This is the radar as of early this morning. You'll see there's a large precipitation shield from the upper Ohio Valley and lower lakes down into the mid Atlantic states. The heaviest rain is occurring in Virginia. West Virginia and North Carolina, where there is more thunderstorm activity. We are not expecting any significant thunderstorm activity in northern Pennsylvania or southern New York. Here's a map showing the timing of the onset of the steady rain. We expect the rain to come from the southwest and reach the Scranton Wilkesbury area around 7 to 8 a.m. Elmira and Binghamton around 8 to 10 a.m. this morning and up towards the Syracuse and Cooperstown area around midday and finally up to the Utica and Boonville areas in the early to mid afternoon. The heaviest rain is expected to be from the late afternoon to the early evening from Tawanda to the Scranton and Wilkesbury area and in the early evening hours across much of central New York, and then further north towards the Syracuse, Utica, and Boonville areas towards the middle and latter part of the evening hours. Then some heavier rain could linger in the Catskills down to the Poconos after midnight on Sunday. So here's the flood potential. Again, there's just a potential for localized minor flooding in poor drainage areas and the typical flood prone low lying areas. There's a small chance for significant flash flooding. Larger rivers will see rises up to half bank full and our smaller rivers will see up to three quarter bank full. Small streams could see bank full conditions with again, some just minor flooding possible. So for more information, uh, we urge you to look at the advanced hydrologic prediction page that the National Weather Service has 
and this will give you all the details on the latest river forecast and river stages. You can also find rainfall forecasts and our latest watches and warnings. And to, to monitor conditions, you could check out the following mobile web website. And if you're using a PC, you can go to weather.gov slash BGM. And we have a strong presence on social media. You can follow us on Twitter. You could check out our Facebook page as well.